Hello everyone, in today's video, we will be breaking down this reel. Ever wonder why some brands just stay with you? It's not magic, it's motion design. If you mark my Hindi or Urdu audience, just click on the settings on my video and then go to audio track and simply change it to Hindi. And if you want, you can simply change it to any other language you want and then you are good to go. Now let's get back to video. Now the first animation will be this. So how can we create that? I will just go here and bring in a color mate to my timeline and simply just extend it now what we need to do i will just select a rectangle shape and i will make a random mask like this shape layer like this now go to facts control and simply place it wherever you want go to essential graphics you can change the color from fill here and from here you can simply give it a bit of roundness so i will give it a bit of roundness this is looking good now what we need to do we need to animate it as now i will go to facts control simply disable the uniform scale enable the scale width keyframe select the anchor point and i will place the anchor point to here this is looking good now i will bring this keyframe at our final position at the start i will make the scale width zero so it will be giving us this animation like this if you want you can simply just keep bring the keyframes closer to make the animation faster like this now i will just select it and then simply ease in them to make the animation more smooth now once this is done we need to create the text so how can we create that i will make a text here and from here i will type ever i will type in ever wonder and i will select all and go to essential graphics and simply in the text section i will change its font to something simple and i will make the first character capital now in go to facts here and i will simply bring it like this make it a bit bigger or i will place it right here now go to essential graphics again i will select it and now i will change its color to yellow like in the original video so this will be our color so once this is animated like it will be here so what we need to do i will go to facts control add a position and an opacity keyframe like this now i will select both keyframes and i will move it as our final position and at the start it will be the text will be a bit down and the opacity will be zero so it will be giving us this animation i will just simply bring these keyframes to the start like here now i will select all the keyframes and right click on them and simply just go to ease in so it will be giving us this animation right here you can simply bring the keyframes closer to make the animation more smoother or more slower <laughs> now what we need to do we have this animation so how can we create that I will go here where the animation ends and will make a cut here for both. I will delete the text layer and from here I will disable the scale width. Add a scale width keyframe, move a few frames and simply just decrease, increase the scale width like uh, this one. Now this is looking cool. I will go back to essential graphics, check the shape and I will make sure to make it zero the roundness. It's looking odd. So for now it will be giving us this animation like this one i will go back to facts control simply make them closer now select both right click and ease in them so this is our animation now to make the round corners i will go to facts and search for roughen edges now go back to facts control make the edge type to cut and add a border and add sharpness keyframe and for the this one make it zero now bring these like it will be here so at the start it won't change and from at this point the border will be something like this and i will make it like this one so it will be giving us this animation i will select both turn and simply just ease in them so this is our whole animation so for the some brands you can use simply brand uh, opacity and position keyframe like the last text and for all these i will bring in all these assets to the timeline so first we have nike so i will bring in nike where this our animation ends and i will bring it here so i will go to effects control and simply just place them wherever i want to i will just simply like this one this is looking cool now next we have the iphone so i will just bring it here go to effects control simply just scale it down 
and position it on my list layer now go back and now i will bring the other assets as well the car so as you can see our whole uh, elements are placed and now we need to add the text so the text animation it has it is simple zoom in so i will just create it i will make sure to add a new text layer and type in the word nike the color will be white so i will just make it white go back to essential graphics and i will change it to white color now just simply place it right here now once this is done i will just select the nike one and the nike text nike text and this and i will make sure to simply just nest them like here so they will be a one layer like this one so we will do the same with others as well just create a text and make sure the text is placed perfectly and simply nest them now to animate this i will just add a scale keyframe and i will move this as our final position and at the start our scale will be like this or i will just go to anchor point and i will simply change the anchor point to here or at the so this will be our animation i will just ping the keyframes closer and then simply just ease in them so they will be appearing once this is like here so i will place it here the, and the others will also appear like this so this will be our whole animation for now as you can see you can simply just animate it just i will just copy the nike text and i will just simply place it here now i will just uh, bring this down as well now this will be our iphone so you can see i will just simply make the iphone a bit smaller to make the space for text like here and now i will go here essential graphics in the nike i will simply select nike and go to fix control change its position to the other layer like in the iphone right here so i will just select the text i will just select the text and i will type in iphone yes iphone so this will be our iphone the first letter will be small so i will make it small now i will just select these both layers simply just go and nest them like here and simply just place it like this now simply i will go to essential graph uh, nested sequence add a scale keyframe and at the start i will move this as our final position and at the start it will be like this one so you can see and from here i will just make it also zero so this will be our first animation and you can simply just make sure to do the same with other layers as well just make the nested sequence to make them scale or position uh, together now uh, for the next animation we need to create this text so how can we create that so there is a jump cut like this one right here so how can we create that i will just make sure here and i will select all the layers and cut them now i will just simply make sure to and nest them like this now i will just go to here and i will just make it a bit bigger so it will be like this and i will add a position keyframe move a few frames and simply bring this like this so it will be moving like this i will select both of them and i will just simply ease in them like here and the text will be animated under here so if we move next we have this animation it's not magic so it's coming from here then moving up so how can we create that i will just simply delete this one and now i will go here i will bring in this overlay to the timeline to remove the green screen i will search for ultra key and simply bring it into this layer right here go to effects control and simply select the dropper tool and remove the green part so if it will be like here and and if we see we have all the text will appear and for the magic you will just have to change font and then it will move upwards so how can we create that i will select a scale keyframe and i will simply just make it here and move a few frames move a few frames like this one and i will simply bring back to the timeline 
like here i will make it here go to here and i will just make the it easy so this will be our animation to make it fast i will bring the keyframes closer like this and now we want to stay at few seconds so i will add a keyframe and then move a few frames simply and then just make sure to scale it up so that it disappears and like this so it will be giving us this animation you can simply just so this will be our animation for now you can see it stopped and simply just moved upwards now to create the next animation this is the next one this is the next animation so how can we create that if we see it moves forward and this comes here so i will go and in the project section i will make this and this disappears i will bring this hand png right here go to effects control and simply just make the hand like this and we will go i will bring in this green screen right here of the brain rotating now i will select control r and i will make it to 400 and simply just optical flow and then in effects control apply the ultra key and in the effects control again select the dropper tool and remove the green part and if we see our hand is black and white so how can we create that i will go to here and i will search for black and so i will bring this black and white key uh, effect to to the hand and now i will just select this and unlink the audio from here okay. the brain will be approximately on the hand and it will be rotating like this one so for to animate this whole sequence i will just select both and i will nest them and i will select it go to uh, position properties like at the start and add a rotation scale as well now i will just select all and move them as our final position so it will end here and at the start i will rotate the hand a bit like this position it downwards and make the scale to something like this so it will be giving us this animation as you can see rotation and i will select all and i will just simply right click on the keyframe temporal and i will just ease in them like here so this will be our frame if we see now this moves out of the screen so it will be a continuous movement so i will just make it bring it here and i will just go here and simply bring it out of the frame so it will be giving us this animation a continuous one you can simply just paint these keyframes like this like here and simply just here now i will select all of them and then just ease in them so if we see we have just explained all the effects like here so this will be our random you can see and from here you can simply just bring it here and simply bring it upwards and this will be our animation so that's all for today i hope you found this video helpful make sure to like and subscribe and i will see you in the next video until then take care and bye